you can load millions of rows into a single pivot table with some easy steps. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that right now. Okay, I prepared 10 Excel files and each one of them includes 1 million rows. Let me show you. So each Excel file includes a table which is just a sample data of a sales report. But every table includes 1 million rows on a single sheet. And now I'm going to load all of these million rows tables into a single pivot table. First I open up a blank Excel sheet, I go to the data tab, hit get data from file and from folder. I browse for the folder where I have those sample files, I select it and I simply just hit open. The Cure Navigator pane will show me immediately the content of my folder, then I simply just hit transform data. Once Excel opened up the Cure Editor, I can start doing my magic. First I can see all the metadata and attributes related to my folder. The content column is the most important because that includes the actual Excel files I imported. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select the content column and the name column, right click, remove other columns. Then I go to the ribbon, hit add column, custom column. I'm gonna name my function Excel content. And I'm going to use a very useful M function, which is called the Excel.workbook, which helps you extract data from an Excel workbook. And the data I need to extract is the binary content. So I'm going to enter the name of the column where I have the binary content. I close the brackets and I simply hit OK. And as you see, the M function pulled the tables I have in those individual Excel files. I click on the double arrow to expand the content of that column. What I need is only the data, item and kind, and I just hit OK. From here, we can see immediately what objects we have in each individual Excel file. Since the structure is the same in all tables, I'm going to select the table type because I don't want to import the entire sheet. If I select under the data column one of the cell, then I can see the actual content of the table. And now I can remove the unnecessary columns. I will need the name and data column this time, right click, remove other columns, and I can expand the actual content of the Excel tables. I hit OK. And here we go, the power query merged all the tables with the 1 million rows. I'm going to just simply format the columns a little bit. Let's say this is text, product number, text, month, year, that's a whole number, sales value is currency. Once I'm done, I go back to the home tab, I hit close and load, close and load too. And instead of selecting the table option, so loading back the data to the Excel Graphicer interface, I simply select on recreate connection. Because we all know that the Excel graphical interface is not able to display more than 1 million plus rows. The other thing I need to set is this option, add this to the data model. I check the box, I hit OK. And as you see, the query editor started to read the content and load the rows into my data model. The speed of the process will depend on your machine. If you do not have enough RAM in your computer, then it might take longer than usual. And here we go, 10 million rows have been loaded to my Excel file into a data model. Once it's done, I simply just go back to the data tab and I select the icon of the power pivot, which will open up the data modeling pane. And if you look at the table and the number of records, it's 10 million. By the way, one tip, if you are at this window and you are looking for a specific row, then you simply just select the number of records and you start entering the number of row you want to see. You hit enter and it will navigate you to that specific row. And now I just simply go back to the home tab, I select pivot table, pivot table. I'm going to insert on the existing worksheet and I simply just hit OK. Done. I was able to load a 10 million rows table into a single pivot table. And you can see how fast it is. I'm going to use the product number as rows. Let's use the years in the columns and the sales value under the values. And as you see, the large data set have been loaded to this single pivot table and I can start analyzing my data. If you want to know more how to handle large data sets in Excel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.